of the 11th generation Civic. Whatever that is. A good place to start with the 2022 Honda Civic is its exterior styling. Lynn, tell them what's what. Like the prototype we saw, this production version is a very scaled and toned down version, making it more refined and upscale. So the thinner A-pillar here is still pushed back by two inches, elongating the snout a little bit and kind of giving it a little bit of a long European dash to axle ratio feel. I like it. The belt line remains low, just like on the prototype, so visibility should be good. For the profile, I really like this swoopy character line that moves upward toward the rear of the car. It's even got a little arrow here on the deck lid, and the rear wheels get a slightly wider track for better stability. Nice touches. The sport trim differentiates itself with gloss black wheels, blacked out window trim and side mirrors, and the metal exhaust. So that sophisticated and more toned down sense of design it also shows up in the front and the rear lights. I think when I first saw this in the prototype, I said it was all grossed up and I stand by that statement. When Honda showed us the Civic prototype, it literally did not have an interior. So this is a nice change of pace, an actual interior. The Civic retains the simple usability that I love in Hondas, and I really like this horizontal honeycomb mesh element, although my compadre Lynn pointed out that this might be difficult to clean. Get those Q-tips ready. Like the exterior, the interior feels more mature, as if the Civic moved to a new school and, in the process, adopted a more sophisticated persona. Looks aside, the interior includes welcome elements like a standard 7-inch or optional 9-inch infotainment screen with a volume knob and a nice array of physical buttons. I especially like the attention to detail with control feel. Listen to the clicks as I adjust the knobs and the vent controls. Oh, that's nice. On the highest touring trim, you'll find a fully digital 10.2-inch gauge cluster, while lower trims use a smaller 7-inch gauge cluster screen paired with a physical speedometer. From the driver's seat, visibility is indeed great thanks to those repositioned A-pillars. Thankfully, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration are standard across the board. Oh, and this is nice, there's a finger rest for more accurately using the intuitively arranged infotainment screen. Thanks to its extended wheelbase, Honda was able to lay back the rear seat angle just a little bit, making this a little bit more comfortable position. Yeah, I fit just fine, but I'm only 5'10". How does tall drink water Mike Danger, KBB's videographer, fit? Get in there, Mike. Give me that camera. If Mike Danger can deal with the Civic's back seat, you'll probably fare just fine. And now, with all the mechanical bits, my friend, Lynn Woodward. So there are going to be two engine options available and except on the hatchback, the SI and the Type R, which are all coming later, there's only going to be one transmission option available. Hmm. LX and Sport Trims will get a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder variety mated to a CVT. No, don't cringe just yet. They are definitely improving. We will reserve judgment until we get to drive. Move up to the EX or the Touring trim and you're going to get a 1.5 liter turbocharged 4 that makes 180 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque. Now yes, like I said earlier, that is also still mated to a CVT, but we are going to reserve judgment until we test drive. Fuel economy numbers on all those trims see improvement over last year's models. The new Civic also gets an upgraded chassis, a stronger body, and updated suspension and steering tuning as well. And yes, there will be a hatchback, an SI, and a Type R. Those are coming later. We don't have any details, so stay tuned. On a quick safety note, in addition to 10 standard airbags, including rear side seat airbags, the standard Honda Sensing suite of active safety assists has been updated. It now uses a single camera versus the previous radar and camera system, and Honda claims the update allows quicker identification of road lines and pedestrians, along with more natural automatic braking and steering action. I can't wait to drive like a moron and put that updated Honda sensing system to the test. Oh yeah. The 2022 Honda Civic goes on sale in the spring of 2021. We're not sure about price just yet, but the current car starts a little above $21,000. The 2022 should be pricier, but probably not by much. 
Overall, the new Civic appears to be a greatly improved car. The question is whether its more refined, less playful styling will resonate with younger buyers.